Hi Gemini, welcome to your monthly April Tarot reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for joining me. So before we start, I would like to bless both of these decks with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I hope that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good, as always. So let's see what the month of April has in store for you, your actions and your interactions with the world at large. If you haven't seen it already, don't forget to check out your Mercury Retrograde in Aries uh, special video. It's going to be really, really important for this month because this is the bulk of it. Okay, so your actions and your interactions, you've got the Two of Swords. I love this card really powerful card it's a really powerful card for psychic power for psychic intuition it's a card of deeply trusting your feelings so your actions and your interactions this month are going to be going through a period of self-trust this is going to be a month you know certainly you'll be taking um real stock of yourself but on the internal level now we all will and it's interesting because all the signs so far have actually been talking about deep internal shifts and internal you know and, and there's currently about to be uh, once saturn goes retrograde this month as well that's going to be like three planets in retrograde so it's going to be a deeply introspective month so your actions and your interactions this month the two of swords two partnership um, but also about trust because it's about mutuality uh, and the two of swords the two of swords is all about trusting your feelings it's all about trusting your hunches it's all about um, really really getting into uh, your spirituality it's really about getting into your psychic ability and your psychic awareness it's about trusting yourself on a really deep level so that you know that the information that is coming to you whether it's through your dreams, whether it's through, you know, and you'll be talking a lot about your dreams this month. You're going to be really starting to get into things of a spiritual nature. You're going to be asking bigger and further reaching questions in and of and about your life this month. And that's, a, you know, for me, I mean, it's great. I love to see this stuff for people because that's what I'm all about, you know, asking people to, to look at the broader scope of life, to look deeper into the mysteries of what life is considered to be, um, you know, and the Two of Swords has her links to the High Priestess, which is psychic ability. The other thing as well, um, this will be the month where a lot of dots are starting to connect, you know, your actions and your interactions. This is people divulging secrets to you. The Two of Swords, as I said, has a lot of links to the High Priestess and she is always hidden things revealed. You know, she's everything else that she is anyway, but she is always hidden things revealed. And those hidden things revealed tend to be secrets, things that you didn't know, couldn't have known, and then that information finds its way into your consciousness. And it's usually, especially under a retrograde, that somebody from your past or somebody that you've had interactions with comes to you and gives you said information. And then you go, ah, that and that now seem to make sense. That's why that happened and that's why that person was acting in that way and da 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 so very very interesting you know keep your ears open it might even be you divulging secrets it may well be that you finally feel ready and in a place enough to trust somebody with some of the real deep stuff that you now want to start really observing you know and sometimes when you're able to really plumb the depths of who you are and what your experiences are um, it puts you in a really powerful position to start, you know, making some headway with what you want in your future. You know, you've got to be honest about who you are to yourself. And sometimes that means sharing it with somebody else, even as just a sounding board. Money in your materials. Oof. okay, so you got that eight of swords. This is not a great card. I have to be honest with you because it represents constriction. It represents restriction, constriction. It can represent imprisonment, entrapment, all of those things. Now, I want to say to you, because, you know, you've got a lot of swords energy here. You are a Gemini. Gemini is an air sign. The swords rule um, the rule Gemini, um, and Mercury rules thoughts. Mercury is your planet, you know, and it's retrograde at the moment, which means thought processes are slowing. Processes are slowing down. Synapses are firing a little slower. Um, maybe even misfiring. 
in terms of money and your materials this is not a month to lend anybody anything that you don't uh, if you can afford to lose what it is that somebody asks you to borrow then by all means help somebody out but what you lend out this month in terms of money and materials will probably not make its way back to you in the time frame or in the the fullness of what it is what you give out you probably won't get back in the same way um, you know if you lend someone money it will come back in dribs and drabs if at all um, if you lend somebody an object it, you know under this transit it may get broken or damaged whatever you are asked for if you really cannot spare it or cannot do with having to repair it don't give it out that is the best and biggest advice that I have to give you, you know? Um, your money and your materials, in terms of your health, uh, you know, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you health information. What I can give you is the energy around your health. Um, try and get out of your mind, because the more you time you spend up here going around and around and around things, your body is gonna start to get tense and tense and tense. This is a month to stretch, this is a month, do yoga, do tai chi, uh, go and see a stretch therapist, go and see um, a chiropractor, an osteopath, somebody that can work with the structure of the body to release tension. You know, even a, a, an Alexander Technique practitioner, um, you know, I know a lot of people have got a lot, a, a lot out of that. Um, find some way to relief, relieve the physical tension that will build up in your physical body because of the, the mental activity that's going on this month. Um, and as I said, in large part, this is going to be down to miscommunication, you know, and crossed wires. Um, but yeah, I guess the, the biggest message that I have to deliver to you on this front is what you cannot afford to lose, let go of, uh, or not get back. Do not lend out. Okay, your communications. That's what you guys are all about. Okay, you got the Four of Cups. Okay, so this is nice. The Four of Cups usually means a happy surprise. Uh, it usually represents something coming out of the blue um, that you didn't expect. That's what the hand offering the cup is. The other thing that is, when I see this card, I always say to people, it's really, really important that you start to foster an attitude of gratitude now because that's what's gonna bring or heighten the experience of when you get this surprise. So when this thing comes out of thin air, um, you know, and blesses and graces your life, this is what's gonna happen. This is how it happens. You know, this is the experience of, oh wow, okay, I didn't expect that. Now, it could be, because you know, we've got, you start to read them in conjunction, that your communications around money get tight get uptight and in sort of speaking to somebody about money and materials you come off a little you know ungrateful or frivolous or whatever the case may be um you know however you're received isn't necessarily how you are but it is a mercury retrograde what i say and how you hear it and how you hear what i say and vice versa it tends to get lost in translation. So it's really important that you demonstrate uh, through the way that you speak, through the way that you act, um, just how grateful you are for everything that you already have. And then you may well find yourself uh, in a position where somebody says, actually, you know what, I wanna bless you, or I wanna help make this better for you. What can I give you? What can I do for you? How can I support you in some way, shape, or form? Um, so there is support there, even with this difficulty in the money and the materials and the physical stress, um, you know. But yeah, certainly your communications, you need to foster an attitude of gratitude, um, and you need to be seen to be doing that. And, you know, and I don't just mean paying people lip service by saying, oh, you know, I'm really grateful. You've got to mean it because it's not necessarily just about your words. It's actually about your vibration. Okay, I've just had three cards pop out and it's this one that speaks to me. <laughs> Look at that. Right, okay. So you get the lovers in your heart and your half. Now, this is really interesting. This is you, Gemini. The lover's card represents the sign of Gemini. 
Um, it's about the two hemispheres of the brain. It's about man and woman, yin and yang, positive, negative, you know, all the dualisms. Um, it's about everything culminating into one harmonious expression of love. The Archangel Raphael blesses the union. And you've got the man and the woman there that represent the polarities of life. You know, this whole thing that we're having at the moment around gender and what it means and what it doesn't mean. Very, very interesting times. But in terms of your personal relationships this month, this is about love. This, you know, I can't say it any way, shape, or in any, any clearer terms. Your heart and your half, your emotional sector, and you get the lover's card. This is about love. It's about what you choose, who you choose to get into bed with. For those of you that are coupled, oh, this is going to be a sweet month. It's going to be passionate and it's going to be warm and there's going to be fun and giggles. The money may be shit. In fact, you might even fight over money. Now, here's the interesting thing. When couples fight about money, they're actually fighting about sex. When couples fight about sex, they're actually fighting about money. And this is something that, you know, because the two are so intrinsically linked. Uh, and this might well be where you're experiencing the constriction. One of you has all of the money, one of you has none of the money, one of you has none of the money and the other has all of the money. And it's about figuring out, you know, well, okay, just because you earn more than I do doesn't actually make you more authority in our lives. It just means that you have more money or more disposable income. Um, but, you know, in stark contrast to that, I do this, this and this, and I offer this to the relationship. It's about finding that balancing act and that, um, that balancing scale of, okay, you may well provide all of that, but I bring all of this to the table. It's about being aware of what you bring to the table, of what you bring to the relationship. So for those of you that are coupled, it's a sweet month for passion, for excitement and enjoyment of the physical pleasures of being a couple. For those of you that are single, this is going to be a great month. Um, it might only be short-lived, I have to say. For those of you that meet somebody in this month, especially because of the retrogrades, um, it might just be short-lived. Uh, and this person might just be a good time girl or a good time guy. Um, but enjoy it anyway. Have that good time, you know. For your familial relationships, this kind of says to me that you're going to be learning some stuff this month about the people in your life, about your family, about your friends, about your partner, about your loved ones. You know, there's going to be a lot of secrets divulged to you this month. And I have to say this to you, Gemini, it is not your place to judge. It is just your, your place to be there, to support, to be a willing ear. Don't divulge anything that you are given to anybody else. What graces your ears in terms of somebody else's personal secrets, unless of course it, it's gonna bring harm to, you know, there's obviously an ethical part in there and moral as well. Um, but if it doesn't bring anyone harm and it's not, you know, then it's not really yours to talk about. If somebody confides something in you, a partner, a, a crush, even, you know, especially a crush. Ooh, can you imagine? You know, I'm telling you this because I like you and I feel like we might be able to gel and I'm telling you this. And it might well be that experience, actually. Um, it may well be a crush for those of you that a single comes to you and says, look, I'm telling you this because actually I really like you. But if we're going to go forward, this is something that you need to know about me. Um, one, that demonstrates that you can trust this person because they've trusted you. And two, it demonstrates that they are being honest with you from the offset. However, that said, like I said, um, if you are single and you meet someone this month, it may just be for a very short time that you enjoy this person's company and they end up becoming maybe a friend, but not necessarily a lover. For those of you that are coupled, great month for passion, love and excitement, sex and sensuality. Um, but there will be some words to be had. <laughs> Gemini. Let's see what your key to the month is. What do you need to know? What is the extra? That one speaks to me. The full card. Okay. So sometimes tarot gets really, really freaking literal. And, you know, it's literally that. So the full, 
represents just the one thing about the fool is he's the most powerful card in the deck because he's able just to let things be and also because he can be everything and he can be nothing and the egg represents the pure potentiality the zero in numerology represents pure potentiality anything that he can envision anything that he can hold within his being he is able to create or they are able to create because you don't really know if it's male or female um you know this is a, a naked soul that's what the the, the, the fool represents um but sometimes like i said tarot gets really really literal and it just says go with the flow and be a bit of a fool if you have to play the fool uh you know to to learn certain information then do so like I said, don't divulge said information because it will bite you in the ass. This is not the year to do anything covert. It will blow up in your face. It doesn't matter what sign you are, how old you are, what position you're in. Covert is not for this year. We're in an 11 year and the 11 vibration is a master number. The master numbers do not fuck about with this energy. And I say that really, really seriously because the master numbers are pure. The master numbers are about honesty, they're about trust, they're about light, they're about openness. So anything that you learn, you you know, if you have to play the fool to learn that information, it doesn't then give you the right to go and start telling that information left and right. What you learn is for you and for you only. The other part of this is just to have fun, be a fool. You know, what was the court jester? The court jester was a fool. He was the only person in the whole kingdom that could mock the authority or the king and take the piss out of him and then have everybody giggle, even the king would laugh. That's a really, really powerful analogy. Think of that, think about that and, and let it sink in. Gemini, I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance itself. And I hope you have an amazing month and I will see you very soon. Take care.